situations where this tactic can be useful. So I'm just going to show you one here and you'll just have to sort of apply the same sort of move but apply it to whichever situation you find yourself in. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to use these flesh hounds to greatly increase the threat range of this Terminator Lord. Uh, this works with pretty much any combination of units. The only rule is you need a slow independent character who needs to be boosted in his threat range and a fast unit. And basically, the scenario we've got here is you've got a Lehman Russ Demolisher who's got his Demolisher Cannon pointed straight at your Chaos Lord. Now obviously, you don't want that to happen. Let's say it's your turn, so you think, okay, well the Flesh Hounds aren't going to kill that Demolisher because it's got a rear armor of 11 and they're, you know, strength 5 on the charge. So chances of killing it, pretty slim. So you want to get your Terminator Lord in, because let's say he's got a Power Fist or a Chain Fist even, you know he's going to make that Demolisher go away. But unfortunately, he is 20 inches away. Now even if you would move 6 inches in your movement phase and then be really lucky and roll 2 sixes for your charge range, you still wouldn't be able to make it into combat. So most people would be like, oh shit, that Lord is fucked this turn nothing you can do. But using this maneuver we're going to get that Lord to destroy that tank. So the first thing you want to do is move your Lord forward his full six inches. Right? Then you want to move your flesh hounds, they can move up to 12 inches because they're beasts. You want to move them so that you've got one guy nice and close and then the rest of them you want to make sure that you move them as close as you can but you want to conga line them so that you've got at least one of them is within coherency of the Lord. Now since it's still the movement phase, you can now declare, after movement, you can now declare that that Chaos Lord is joining this unit of Flesh Hounds. And now that he's joined them, they're one unit, and that one unit only needs to roll a three for its charge range. So let's just say hypothetically you roll a perfectly average 7, right? So what you do now is you move all your units in up to 7 inches. So all of them, these ones will all get in base because they're all within 7. Then these two simply have to move up as far as possible. So he, that board is now gaining an extra 7 inches worth of movement because he was part of that unit. And now you do your initiative step pile in, so the rest of these hounds jump in, they do their attacks on the tanks, maybe strip off a hull point if they're lucky, maybe two, and then when it comes to initiative step one, this Lord piles in his further three inches, and because he's now within two inches of a model that's in base contact, he gets to make his full attacks. So now he's going to be ripping into that tank with his chain fist, and he's going to blow it up. So by using a unit that was over here, and the Lord that's over there, we've been able to stretch his threat range. So it's not the perfect tactic, but it, it can be a very useful tool to keep in your toolbox. Uh, the same thing works, it doesn't necessarily even need to be a fast unit, it just needs to be a well-positioned unit. For example, if you had the Demolisher here, a unit of Bloodletters beside it, and your Lord back here, you could move the bloodletters as long as you can get them within range so that that lord can join you can then use them to stretch him across you know maybe you had a unit of cultists right in front of the tank the cultists can't hurt the tank but if you move a couple of them forward and a couple of them backwards so that the lord's in and then you can slingshot him across and that gets him into combat so yeah that's basically how this tactic works and uh, it's a very, very effective way to take a beat stick HQ and make him fast. You don't need to spend the points on decking him out with a bike 
or decking him out with a juggernaut or anything like that. You can if you, you can save those points or maybe use those points to get him Terminator armor to make him a shit ton more durable and then make up for the speed using this tactic. And obviously this works with other armies as well. It's not a Corn Demonkin exclusive tactic, but I play Corn Demonkin and I figure what better way to show off how it works. But uh, yeah, chuck your comments and questions or anything like that you have in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>